Okay, uh, grade 10 and grade 11, just to do some revision on how to work with ticker tapes. So I have with me some results from a ticker tape and I've labeled all the dots A, B, C, D, E. We measure with the ruler and we get displacements 10 millimeters, 18 millimeters, 28 and 40 millimeters. They give us information about the frequency of the ticker timer, which is very important. And the frequency is going to help us get the period. And we know that period is the time taken between successive dots. So we work that out. We know that period T is equal to 1 over F, which is 1 over 20, and we get 0, 0,05 seconds. So this means that it's 0, 0,05 seconds it takes between successive dots. So I can mark that off on my tape. Now the, we need to use this tape to find acceleration. The first so we need to use this tape to find acceleration. So first we need to find velocity. So I'm going to look for the velocity between A and B. And the equation for velocity is displacement over time, delta x over delta t. So between A and B, they are 10 millimeters. So we can say 10 times 10 to the minus 3. Remember, we convert from millimeters to meters. And the time that it takes from A to B is 0, 0,05 seconds. So when we put that into our calculator, we get an answer of 0, 0,2 meters per second. And then I'm going to use the same formula to find the velocity between B and C. So between B and C, the displacement is 18. So 18 times 10 to the minus 3, we convert to meters. And the time from B to C, 0, 0,05 seconds have passed. So putting that into our calculator, we get an answer of 0, 0,36 meters per second. Now we want to work out the acceleration. And we know that acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. So we would need a final velocity minus an initial velocity because change in velocity is Vf minus Vi all over delta t. And now we're going to use some knowledge of average velocity because what we calculated here was average velocity between A and B. Average velocity is equal to instantaneous velocity halfway in time. So that means halfway in time so half of 0, 0,05 is 0, 0,025, so 0, 0,025 seconds and 0, 0,025 seconds, exactly halfway there, the instantaneous velocity is 0, 0,2 meters per second coming from there. So if I calculate the average velocity between A and B, it is equal to the instantaneous velocity halfway in time. So we found an instantaneous velocity. We can call this V initial at that point. And we can do the same thing for the velocity. Average velocity of BC would be the instantaneous halfway in time. So 0, 0,025 seconds and 0, 0,025 seconds. The average velocity of BC was 0, 0,36. So the instantaneous velocity there is 0, 0,36. So now I have a velocity here and a velocity here and I'm working in this time interval. So the final velocity is 0, 0,36 minus the initial velocity of 0, 0,2 and the time that passes from this line to this line is 0, 0,025 plus 0, 0,025. And when I put that into the calculator, we get an answer of 3,2 meters per second squared. And that is how we use the ticker tape to find acceleration. I hope you found this video useful. Please like if you did. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you don't miss future videos and share this video with your friends so that more people can benefit from these lessons.